Hi, and welcome to my next playthrough. This time I will be playing The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. Oh yes, this is actually a game on the GameCube, and it has a, a gimmick that the GameCube had. What you could do is you could take your Game Boy Advance and use a certain cable to hook it up to the system. And using that, you could basically use the Game Boy Advance as a controller, and you could use the Game Boy Advance screen for some optional things. Before we get started, let's go and look at some options. That is a, a lot of options. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna go stereo and rumble. Rumble can be on, so we'll, uh, we're good. Everything's fine. So there's a shadow battle mode here, but this one is only multiplayer. You can see at the bottom there, it says P2 through P4. That means two to four players. And on the bottom right, you can see it has the Game Boy Advance. That means you can only play using the Game Boy Advance controller. You cannot use your standard GameCube controller for that mode. Now, Hyrulean Adventure is your typical campaign type thing. You can see if you're playing in one player, which I will be doing, of course, you can use the GameCube controller. You could also use the Game Boy Advance if you would like. However, if I do that, then there will be a screen I can't show you guys. So I'll do the GameCube. So everything's on screen. Let's do a single player game. So this technology for the GameCube, it wasn't super widely used. And I'll talk more about that soon. But first, let's go through this intro. Long ago, in the Kingdom of Hyrule, a wind sorcerer named Vadi appeared. Vadi terrorized the people of Hyrule and kidnapped many beautiful girls from their homes. When all hope seemed lost, a young boy carrying little more than a sword appeared. According to the legends, when the boy drew his sword, he split into four. The four who are one worked together to vanquish Vadi. The hero used his sword to bind Vadi in a remote area of Hyrule. The people christened this blade, the four sword, and built a shrine around it. There it remained undisturbed for many years. Ages flowed by. The wind sorcerer Vadi broke free of his prison and kidnapped Zelda, the princess of Hyrule. Princess Zelda's childhood friend Link used the power of the four sword to defeat Vadi and seal him away once again. And for a time, the people of Hyrule believed that their land was safe. Until... Poops! Or... Or not? Oh, and tell Link. Okay. Yes, I can hear your voice. Well, I'm assuming I'm Link, I guess, but... Um, come on, it's Zelda. Of course we're gonna be Link. Uh-oh. It's a thunderstorm. That cannot possibly be good. Yeah, the dark clouds covering all of Hyrule. Considering that Vadi is a wind sorcerer, maybe he can also affect other types of weather, so... He might be responsible for this thunderstorm. What a jerk. So evil, making natural phenomenon appear. It's not natural if he's causing them. Hmm. This is very slow text. A sense of dread swept across the land. You know, a lot of people, they get depressed when it's gloomy and overcast out or raining. A lot of people get depressed, but I always felt just comfortable, cozy, you know? I love rainy days. Just stay in, stay warm. It's cozy. Okay, so we're at Hyrule Castle, and it looks like we are indeed Link, unless we're playing as Zelda, that would be cool. Six maidens who guard Hyrule are gathered here in the castle, okay. The sky is dark and foreboding, indeed. Hmm. Alright, come quickly. Let's follow her. I would like to explore, there were some paths to check out there, but I guess we're just gonna have to go along with the story. All right, the six maidens are here. Hmm. Wait, so Vadi is not free. Okay. So she's going to go in to check and make sure the seal is, is strong. So all six maidens are required to open up the seal, or open up the gate to get inside. It looks like Zelda is one of the maidens. Maybe there's seven. Hmm. Not sure on that. I guess Zelda's always been a little bit magical, even in Smash Bros. She does have magic at her disposal, so that's just part of her character, I guess. The only magic we get is if we get some medallions, or in Ocarina of Time's case, you get some some power of the gods and things like Din's Fire. Uh-oh! It's Shadow Link! No, it's not, it's not me. Not this crud again. This just happened in the last playthrough with Mario Sunshine. What is it with them confusing me with the shadow version of myself? It's not me, I swear. Uh-oh. No! 
All of the maidens in Zelda, they're captured! And let me guess, they're gonna get scattered all across the world and we have to save them. Probably. Hmm. Oh, crud, are we going Yu-Gi-Oh on this crud? This is the Shadow Realm right here. That was an intense sentence. Used crud twice. I challenge you guys to use crud 15 times in one sentence and still have it be grammatically correct. Good job, if you can do it. Hmm. So we're following Shadow Link. And he's leading us right to the sword. That... I think this might be the four sword, guys. We don't have a sword already, but we do have a shield. Ow, crud! So he's just going to be a big jerk about this. Let's just grab the sword. Let's see, if I press R, it looks like I can grab it. That's not working. What if I press A on the front? Aha! I skipped through that dialogue by accident. Whoops. Will I still draw forth the sword? No, screw that, crud. I'm out of here. Oh, I can't leave. Alright, alright. I accept my fate. So I should mention that I, I have beaten this game before, so it's not completely blind. However, it's been a long time since I've played it. I think four years or so, and I've only beaten it once, so I'm not super familiar with it. So it's going to be not completely blind, but semi-blind, or rusty, I guess, would be a good way to put it. Oh no! A tornado! And all four links scream in unison. Oh great, we got giant balls. Balls with eyeballs. Great. Huh. Well then, where is this tornado going to drop us off to? Now we're back to getting talked to by a black screen with text on it. Yes, the destiny of the hero. It's me. I will save all the people. Oh, they've been taken by dark forces. Oh no. Of course, I knew that already. I kind of saw it happen in front of me. Vadi's magic has robbed the Four Sword of its power? Whoa. Okay, so my Four Sword is now useless. Uh, we have to go through a Strength Restoral. I have to find the source of that power. Force Gems. What is this, Star Wars? Okay, we gather Force Gems wherever they lie. And... Rescue the Maidens. Cool. So I'm guessing we get these Force Gems, it'll power up our sword, and we can kill all the things. Sounds like a plan to me. So yes, this game actually is set up to be structured, it's it's separated by a world map. So here we're on world 1, and this is level 1. So whereabouts of the wind, we'll get right in there. And, ooh. So here we do have four links. Now, the way this is separated is if you're playing as one player, I will control all four links. If you play two players, you'll have two people controlling, or one person controlling two, the other person controlling the other two. Um, if you do three players, it's one, one, two, and if you have four players, everyone has one link. All right, so we have the creepy owl returning from previous Zelda games, of course, doing the Exorcist crud right there. I'm pretty sure owls twist their necks like that in real life as well. All right, goodbye, Mr. Owl. So I have my sword here. I can just hit B to do that. It looks like. Do I have a charge attack? Yes, the classic Zelda charge. Looks like I can also spin my joystick. Ooh. <laughs> All right, hitting hitting the left trigger gathered them up. Ah, here we go, guys. So here's where things get interesting. If I hit the left trigger, I can actually choose from a set of patterns. So I can have a formation like this. All kinds of different formations that come in handy. You can also do a diamond formation which has a pretty intense spin attack there. And let's see, the last formation is a box. That's not what I picked. There we go, we got a box. So, different formations, as far as I remember, they come in handy for for different combat scenarios and also some puzzles too. Got the four at the arrows. Okay, I, don't, I didn't see any arrows, I looked away for just a moment. What? What, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I do go through here. Oh, all right then. Yes, and there's another thing you can do. I just I just pressed X and it did that. You can tap X to leave the other links behind, and you can control each one individually. Again, this is going to come in handy for puzzles. And just hit L to put them all back. Cool. So a bit more about the the Game Boy connection. 
Here you can see on the screen it says Game Boy Advance SP. Now, the reason it's on screen is because I'm playing this as one player, and I, I'm i playing with the GameCube controller. If you're playing with the actual Game Boy attached, then that would have showed that would have showed up at, on your actual Game Boy screen. And if you have all four players, they will all have their own individual screen depending on where they're entering and all that. So it's actually really cool. Okay, so he's going to yell out a formation. This is a it's a tutorial for your formations. Of course, I already went over those, so it'll be no problem. You have box formation. And you pretty much you can just copy the guys on the right if you don't actually know the names of the formation. But the names are pretty straightforward. Okay, so this one's actually cross, not diamond, but it's it's basically a diamond shape. Alright, just gonna skip through this text here. And for a reward we get a purple triangle, which is actually a force gem. You can see in the bottom right we have 54 of those. Let's talk to him in here, see what he has to say. Alright, he's just saying formations are the key to teamwork. But a little bit more about the Game Boy connectivity. I don't know how many games use that that feature where you can connect the Game Boy and use that as your screen, but the two most prominent ones were definitely this game as well as Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, where you could play four player co op and have. Ooh, get more red gems! And you could have uh, each person have their own individual screens. Alright, so let's go into a formation to push this block here. This is the most basic puzzle using the formations. So the problem with the, the Game Boy technology, connectivity, whatever, is that you need four Game Boys and four cables. That was very hard to get set up, though it was really fun if you could manage to get it all set up. I, I actually did manage to do that for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles back in the day. And it was cool, everyone had their, their own little screens. It was just a good time. Alright, and it looks like here we get the boomerang. So this Zelda game is a lot different than other Zelda games where normally you get an item in a Zelda game and you keep it forever. This one you actually just have one item stocked with you and you keep that for the whole level and then you lose it at the end of the stage. So here we have the boomerang, let's see if I can remember how to use it. It's just the A button it looks like. And if I'm not mistaken, all four should have it. There we go. I think you can actually set it up so each Link gets a different item, but sometimes you just want to have all four have the same one. So let's get into this formation, and we can use that boomerang to grab the key. Cool. And can I pick that up? Looks like I'm just pushing it around. I gotta carry it by hand. And uh, Shadow Link was blocking that, but there was a locked door behind him we just got. Hmm. Oh. Wait, how do you have a door that locks from the outside, but does not lock on the inside? I have never heard of that. I've heard doors that you can unlock from the outside, but never one that you'd lock on the outside. That seems counterintuitive. Uh. I guess you could lock it with the key, but what I'm trying to say is... Can't you normally just unlock it from the inside without the key? I don't know. Right, let's go box formation and get this rock here. Not that one! Blue Link, please. There we go. So here we have the... It's a fire cane. So pick that up with R. I'm gonna go back to that boomerang uh, and see if I can actually do what I was. What the crud? Oh right, right, right. Okay. So when you pick up an item, you drop the other one on the floor. So let me see if I can get this one just for this link. Now it looks like they all get it. I think maybe if you're playing one player, you can only get one item at a time. I know for sure that if you're playing multiplayer, you can get each person with a different item. Which is kind of cool, you can set up like, you know, one person handles the fire, one person handles the boomerang, and stuff like that. The crud, <laughs> I just changed formations and I got hit on the way. Okay, stop hitting me guys, there we go, let's set fire to all the things. Yeah, pick up those gems. At the top left you can see the, the little hearts there, that is my health. The Zelda Classic always have hearts there. But we start off with four hearts in this one. Hmm, looks like we can get that force gem there. That's a pretty big one, but let's get rid of some of these rocks. Uh, let's go into long formation. Let's get all of these rocks taken care of. Blue Link is getting stuck there. I don't think there's anything relevant with this. I just figured I'd try. Can I do anything with this stump? Nope. Oh, you can burn the stumps. Okay. 
So let's burn that. Ooh! Oh, baby! Give me those gems. Give me those gems. So the, the main reason I haven't explained what the force gems do is I can't really remember. But we'll find out. Aha! A secret staircase. Got it. Hopefully I can still get that... Uh, that big gem up there. Ooh, a treasure chest. Can I get that one? Let's hit this switch. Aha! What is in here? Oh, just a red gem. That is 20 force gems. Cool. I don't see any place to jump off to get that one, so I'll have to keep looking for it. Let's go back into long formation. What the crud are you doing, Shadow Link? Oh, crud, he's blowing me up. Okay, you can stop that. I would really appreciate it if you knock that crud off. Hmm. Well, let's get some of these items here, get my health back to full. Give me that. Let's go box formation. Hit that switch. So many gems. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a big one. Oh, that one's worth 100. Okay, so a big green one is 100 gems. That's crazy. Oh, let's see if I can throw this rock at the enemies. Boom! Ow. I didn't. <laughs> Great. Let's just set this on fire. Good. I think you can use... Ooh. I think you can use your sword as a bit of a hitbox extension. So if you get a gem that's a little bit out of reach, you can just swipe your sword at it and pick it up like that. Alright, let's get this other rock. Box formation. Box formation is one of the best, I would say. Hmm. Blue slime. I think those things are choo-choos. I can't remember exactly. Get all four of those rocks. Can't go this way, so I, I guess we just have to jump down into the water here. And we'll go long formation again. Okay, what is up here? Just another rock. Some pretty basic puzzles. They're just... Ooh! Tingle! But yeah, the basic puzzles, they're just introducing us to the puzzle of... The puzzles of Zelda. They will get more complex. But here we have one of my favorite characters in any Zelda game. Tingle! Oh, man. Yeah, he dreams of fairies. That's... Tingle's one dream is to either become a fairy or have his own fairy. I think he wants to become a fairy. All right, he's going to share some thrilling tingle news. Hmm. Okay, there's a force gem under the rock. What do you have for me, Tingle? Yes, he wants to turn into a real true fairy. Sorry if I'm going through the dialogue a little quickly there. Okay, he's going to say his farewells. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to follow you. That would be creepy. Wait, are you going to... Are you going to leave the gems for me back here? No? Alright, alright, mister. That's not very nice. Hmm, swimming basics. Don't be timid, jump on in. Alright. Well, let's do just that. And if we press B, we can actually dive. There is a timer on that, though. And the ones that are underwater, you just have to dive down to grab, it looks like. Easy enough. In portions like this, you don't really need to worry about the extra links. You just need to worry about green. I'm pretty sad there's no purple. I mean, not purple, but there's no orange link. There is a kind of purple link. It's more of a... Uh, it's, I was going to say magenta, but I guess it's purple. Wait a second. There's a pirate dude down there. Let's go talk to him. Hello? Hmm. Shooting people out of cannons is his hobby, guys. That That is a weird hobby. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go back in. I saw a treasure chest on the side. Let's see if I can grab that. Just a purple force gem that gives us 50. Let's go up to the left. Hmm. I can see there's that green gem there, which is going back and forth on the waterfall. They're showing us the boomerang, which means we might need that. Let me see if I can grab it. Got it. Hopefully we do not need that flame staff, though it will be left behind here, so we can go back to grab it if we need to. Oh, Tingle! He's got that gem! I need to go kill him. Oh, the fire would have been nice to wreck those... Um, that grass there, but oh well. So, three paths. The left path is nothing. It looks like the right path is the way to go. Kind of surprised the left path didn't work for me. Hmm. Well, let's get in there. The crud? 
Okay, you can press you can press Z to close the screen, and now I'm just like outside with nothing. That's bizarre. Okay, so here we actually have to do that thing from before where you individually control each link. These puzzles are a lot quicker if you have four players, but they're no big deal to do by yourself. I'm pretty sure this guy's probably just gonna tell us that as well. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, he's he's just saying to press the X button to do that. He also said you can use the D-pad. So yeah, you can use the D-pad or the X button to switch between the links there. Cool. So now that we hit that switch, let's go to the middle path and see what's up here. A pretty narrow pathway. Let's just go long formation to keep it simple. There we go. Ooh, another hundred. And a heart. That'll bring us up to five hearts. Ooh. All right, all right. Uh, let's leave one link behind. And move the other ones across. Wait, can you pick up a link? Yeah, you can actually pick links up. Can you throw them? Yes, you can throw them too. And we'll pull them back over here. Awesome. So pretty basic puzzles, very straightforward, but they're fun. I, I really like the puzzles of this game. Finally, we can jump down here. Gotta watch out for this guy trying to shoot fire at us. Jeez, what a jerk. Oh, don't miss it. And go. I missed it. I didn't realize there would be a pause before it went down. Not gonna bother trying to swim back up that waterfall like a salmon to get that. But I will go inside this magical whirlwind here. Hmm. Oh, crud, we have a timer. Let's go. Looks like I mash A to go faster. That was easy enough. That is a big block. Let's go wide formation. And push, I guess. Pull. Push. No? Oh, push. Okay. I think it wasn't pushing before because Purple Link was stuck on the side. Aha! Hmm, we have to somehow make an L formation here. I think I have an idea. Let's go into... Let's go long formation. Like this. No oh, crud, it moved. I didn't realize it was going to move. Alright, come back please. I was going to go long formation, get three on the one, and then get the last one. What if I just get just this guy? Can I just pull them across? Oh, nice. There we go. Okay. So yeah, sometimes all you need is one link. I'm going to go up the staircase here first before I go through that door. What do we have here? A fairy that can revive the fallen links. All right, cool. I don't think you can have just one link die in, in one player, but in multiplayer, you have to revive your friends if they do die. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is the right way to go or if I should go back and go through that path. Now I'm curious what the other path had. Giving us the boomerang again, which we, of course, already have. It looks like this is going to go this way. So let me actually go back and check out that other path. Just going to walk all the way back there. This is actually pretty long for a first stage. The stages are, some are short, some are long, but they're all pretty fun. I really do enjoy the stages in this game. I think that, I'm going to guess there's seven worlds. I don't remember at all, but considering there's six maidens and Zelda, I'm going to guess seven worlds. I don't know if they're going to do the Mario Classic and have eight worlds, but we'll see. So there we got a blue bracelet. What that'll do, oh, I should have read it because I can't remember. That it does one of two things. It either makes you take less damage or it increases your strength so you can carry, your, you can carry bigger items or bigger objects. I'm pretty sure it's just a damage reduction though. Uh, should I test it out? Let's just go get hit. Come on guys, come hit me. Oh, that is a lot of you. Well, I took a quarter heart. I don't know how that compares. Yeah, wide formation is so good for this. Dang, we just sliced those fools. All 16 of them, it looks like. Grab us some hearts, get back to full. All right, ooh. One more switch, cool. So let's get that and get the last one over here. 200 force gems. Yo, are we gonna get over 2,000? Yep. Yes, if you get over 2,000 power force gems, your sword is buffed. Oh baby. Too good. 
another 20 here, and a heart piece. So we're up to six hearts. Man, does this place have a boss fight that I'm buffing up for? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Let's just go wide formation. Bring it on, guys. I got my powered-up sword that can now shoot laser sword beams. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go back to long formation. Dodge those guys. Don't hit me. Okay, he's blocking me. Got to get him from the side, it looks like. I think there's also... Ow, oh, crud. I think there's a button to just toggle between all of the formations. Let me see if I can find that. No? I could have swore there was, but apparently not. Oh, well. Let's just kill this guy. Uh, let's go box formation. That'll handle all sides because it'll turn. Get him. Can I shoot sword beams with without full HP? No, you have to have full HP to get those sword beams. I think the spin attack does double damage, so... Whoa, what the crud is that? Um, okay. It looks like if you charge up long enough, you can do some crazy stuff. Oh, gosh, that makes my audio staticky. Uh-oh, those gems are gonna vanish. Get them! There we go. All right, that swirling blade technique is so strong, it makes my, my audio staticky. Crazy. All right, let's hit all these switches. All right. Force Fairy 3. And we got all of the links on some spots here. It's gonna fin finish the stage. We did it! All right, guys. It only took an entire episode to do one stage. Oh, man. So if you're actually in multiplayer, at the end of the stage, it will tally up all of your force gems, and it'll show who got the most. So it's kind of a, a bit of a competition. But single player, you're just, you're just playing. So there you go. That's going to be it for the first episode of this series. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.